retired Air Force colonel who served more than 30 years in the military with a focus on intelligence strategy and gathering spoke to Eight on Your Side about the airstrike. He also worked at MacDill Air Force Base in South Tampa, specifically at Central Command. News Channel 8's Ryan Hughes is live for us there tonight. Ryan, some interesting perspective here. Hey, good evening. Retired Colonel Jim Warshuk tells me it's absolutely no surprise the U.S. went ahead and killed the general. Jim Warshuk is speaking bluntly about the killing of General Qasem Soleimani, explaining that the U.S. did what it had to do. This strike last night was a counter-terror operation. Officials explained that Soleimani was responsible for the deaths of many Americans with a bigger threat on the horizon. There was, in fact, uh, an imminent attack taking place. Uh, you, the American people should know that this was an intelligence-based intelligence mm -hmm. assessment that drove this. Warshuk, who lives in Dover, spent decades in the military, including time as deputy director for intelligence of U.S. Central Command. He agrees wholeheartedly with the Secretary of State. He knows how a precise operation like this one goes down. We had that information, and it kind of plays into and gives us the ability to do what we did. Now comes the potential fallout with Iran threatening to retaliate. Warshak understands that the government will now be on high alert, especially abroad, and for good reason. They um, sponsor terrorist uh, activity. They've done strikes against us. They've they've killed Americans. Um, that's. You know, there's no need to, to get complacent because we've taken him out. Now, the retired colonel went on to say that both Presidents Bush and Obama had the opportunity to kill the general. They simply did not want to cross a dangerous line. We're live tonight in South Tampa. I'm Ryan Hughes, 8 on your side.